Well, this was unexpected. We hit 300 subscribers! Hello everybody, my name is Skullkid, and thank you for making the channel reach 300 subscribers. Thank you to every one of you who clicked that subscribe button and thought, let's give this guy a chance, let's see what this guy is doing, let's see what cool little things he's making. So thank you to each and every one of you. This obviously came really fast, really unexpected, I mean, a week and a half ago we were at 230 something and uh, yeah, I mean this came pretty fast to say the least. In my head we were still just starting off at 200 in a sense. But really my goal doing YouTube was always that I wanted to have a small little community just to chat, just to have fun chatting about games, because that's what makes YouTube fun. Chatting about games and have an outlet for uh, allowing me to do some creative things, because I have always really loved uh, building and editing and things like that. And of course, I love video games, and this channel has allowed me to do all that. And being now at 300 subscribers just brings us one step closer to really this little nice, big, yet small community where we can just talk and sort of know each other and, you know, just have some good old fun. And really the important thing is I'm still having a blast making all these fun videos. I've been, you know, trying to expand a bit, doing some discussion videos uh, that I've been enjoying making, that I've been experimenting a lot on. Of course, I've been trying more creative projects, or at least these things that are happening in the background that you might see later on in the year, and, of course, bigger projects, all of those things, things that keep me having so much fun doing YouTube, and I plan to do it for a long while, and, well, this just helps with that motivation, you know? Since I don't have much time these days, I thought I would use this great little occasion to sort of tell you what's going through my mind right now, a bit of what I'm making, what I'm planning for the channel, and you know, life in general. So of course for me, May has always been a really busy month, because this year it's exam month, and uh, that also sort of leads into June, so these are gonna be a couple of busy months coming up, but luckily I think I'm fairly organized this year. I have started finally since I've came back from France to get a little good head start on video making, and with all that said, I think I will be, I'm pretty confident now in announcing that we'll have a video schedule, we'll have a new video going up every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time, of course 12 p.m. Eastern, but yeah, I'm fairly confident uh, that we'll be able to maintain this new schedule. I currently have like a week or two advance on videos, so that's good. And uh, I think we're gonna be able to maintain that during up to June, because it's pretty well planned out. And after that, once exams are done, we're gonna roll out the fancier stuff that I've had written down on an idea sheet, and all of those cool things that I wanna make. Some of those bigger videos. I have a couple unboxings that I've already recorded. I have a bunch of ideas for some more really in-depth discussion videos. And for one, I want to get that footage from France edited so I can make a little fun vacation vlog again. And of course, there are going to be a bunch more surprises, a bunch more cool things I have in the works, but if I spoiled them now, it just wouldn't be as fun when they come out now, would it? Now, of course, with all these things going on, social media, as I say it all the time, I'm gonna remind it again, is gonna be a great place to get some little updates. It's definitely the first place where I update you on life stuff, on projects that are happening, and obviously I can use it to talk about little things that I just can't have time to put in a video, little thoughts that come up, little updates, all that stuff, and of course, you can stick around for a bunch more fun discussions that we have on there, especially on Twitter. So I hope to see you there. The handles are right on the side of the screen right now if I did a good editing job. But anyways, as I said earlier this year, this year is the year where I'm graduating, and of course that's gonna mean lots of changes for the future. And I don't know exactly how it might impact the channel in the future. Of course, I have no plans to stop just yet. 
um, but we'll have to see. Of course, lots of exciting changes. I am looking forward to it though, so that should be nice. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention too, by the way, for the summer and all of that, is I am revamping currently my stream setup, so I'm planning to do more live streams this summer. It should be really fun, just have some chill time, maybe even longer live streams. That should be really fun, so uh, I hope you stick around until the summer at least for that. But now, one other thing I wanted to talk about in this video is, of course, the elephant in the room is that discussion video I made, and it sort of caught some traction. Chances are maybe you're even watching this because you found that video in the first place. Now, I just wanted to use really this opportunity, as there might be more people here, to get some feedback, because it's what I've been trying to get for months now on these discussion videos, and I haven't really gotten as much feedback as I would like to have. The discussion videos have been a blast to make since I really, like, kicked them back off, if I can say, with the Fallout 76 one, because it sort of went by a new style, one that I'm sort of keeping from now on. Then the Smash Bros, the Switch Year 2, and most recently Mario Maker 2. These are all videos with a little new style, if I can say, and these are the ones I've been experimenting the most on. I've been having a blast experimenting with them. Lots of different changes from time to time. Some of them were practically fully scripted. Some of them were mostly improvised, some of them in between. So, you know, I sort of wanted to share the things going through my head when I make those and get your feedback on that. Like, for example, you know, I scripted things and of course things sound more catchy, but then I feel like they sound fake, you know? I don't know what to do about these types of things. And, uh, and then sometimes I script them less and maybe they're less catchy. Maybe, you know, you have less control on the final product, you just hope that it's good. This is sort of how it worked with the Mario Maker one, it's not very scripted, maybe has a bit of transitions and a bit of intros, and that's about it. Smash Bros was pretty improvised, the Switch discussion on the other hand was almost fully scripted. Just to give you an idea, and if you have some time, I'd love it if you honestly go back and compare these videos. Some feedback would be really appreciated. Now, of course, I've been experimenting with thumbnails a lot, trying to make them catchy, a little more artistic, and very clean and simplified. I'm gonna give this one to me. One of the things I'm proud of for doing in that Mario Maker video, I honestly thought that video was gonna fail, so I'm quite surprised. I didn't think the video was outstanding, or even the thumbnail. I didn't know what to do, but here's the one thing I did that I think was really clever. I made the thumbnail blue, and it probably got a bunch of distinction in that sea of yellow Mario Maker thumbnails. So. <laughs> That was fun. Just more experimenting. Give me your thoughts on it. And of course, the eternal problem I'm having. My sound mixing. Of course, I only have one or two pairs of headphones you hear that I can test with and not much willing candidates. I just really want to know what you think of the sound mixing, the levels between the music, the voice, and of course, I'm experimenting a lot with my recording software and my microphone, and I don't really know how that sounds. These are things I want to know. So, like, what do you think about the microphone, the voice, the edits, all of that stuff? So anyways, that's sort of what I wanted to ramble on about, about what's going through my head with these discussion videos, because I'm trying to get better at them, experiment, and just make them overall more entertaining for you guys. So let me know what you think about all of that. Anyways, I've talked for long enough, I'm gonna leave it here. Once again, thank you guys so much for sticking around with me. Hope you stick around a bit longer for the journey. It's gonna be a blast. I'm looking forward to seeing you in future videos with your comments, reading and replying to them. It's always just a blast for me. It's always fun. And if you listened all the way to the end, thanks for allowing me to use this video as an opportunity to share a bit of my thoughts on what's going on in my life and just on YouTube. As I said earlier, don't hesitate to follow me on social media to get better updates on what I'm doing, a couple pictures, little fun exclusive stuff too. But anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. With that said guys, have a great day everybody and I hope to see you in the next video.